Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Educator's Pride. Myself Dr. Savita Khatri. In my videos, I will teach all the life sciences topics. In this video, I will discuss about cell junctions, which is very important topic of cell biology unit for CSIR net life sciences exam. So, let's start with it. Firstly, let's know about the basics of cell junctions. Then I will discuss about different types of cell junctions. Many cells in tissues are linked to one another and to the extracellular matrix as specialized contact sites called as cell junctions. Cell junctions are multiprotein complexes. They also build up the paracellular barrier of epithelia and control the paracellular transport. Cell junctions are especially abundant in epithelial tissues. They mainly function in cellular adhesion and cellular communication. They also help in transduction of mechanical forces. Defects in cell-to-cell -cell junctions give rise to a wide range of tissue abnormalities that disrupt homeostasis and leads to genetic abnormalities and cancers. Some common examples of cell junctions are tight junctions, adhesion belt, desmosomes, gap junctions, and hemidesmosomes, etc. as shown in the figure. Now, what are different types of cell junctions? Cell junctions are divided on the basis of two criteria. On the basis of location, cell junctions are of two types. First, cell-to-cell -cell junction and second is cell-to-extracellular matrix junction. On the basis of function, cell junctions are of three types. First, occluding junction. Second, anchoring junction. And third is communicating junction. Next are cell adhesion molecules. What are cell adhesion molecules? Cell adhere to each other and to the extracellular matrix through cell surface proteins called as cell adhesion molecules. They include transmembrane proteins that fall into two categories. First is cell-to-cell -cell adhesion molecules or second is cell matrix adhesion molecules. Some examples of cell adhesion molecules are catarins, immunoglobulin superfamily, selectins, canexins and integrins. Firstly is cadarins. They are present in all multicellular animals. They are major cell-to-cell -cell adhesion molecules. The cadarins are calcium dependent proteins which hold cell together by homophilic interactions that is molecules on one cell bind to other molecule of the same kind on adjacent cell. Most cadarins are single pass transmembrane glycoprotein. They are responsible for the different tissue layers and cellular migration. Two other families of transmembrane cell to cell adhesion molecules are selectins and immunoglobulin superfamily. Selectins also depends on extracellular calcium to function in cell adhesion whereas immunoglobulin superfamily mediates calcium independent cell to cell adhesion. Selectins mediate adhesion by heterophilic binding but immunoglobulin family undergo both homophilic and heterophilic adhesion. An example of a selectin carries out one of its processes would be when a white blood cell is slowed down when it goes to a wound. A selectin coats the WBC and causes contraction. Immunoglobulin support to establish neural connections. Integrins are the principal transmembrane cell matrix adhesion molecules. They are also calcium dependent adhesion proteins and undergo heterophilic interaction. Cell adhesion molecules also guide cell around an embryo to grow and form the placenta. Abnormal cellular adhesion can be very dangerous and can lead to complications. Arthritis is also a result of poor cellular adhesion. Now, first type is occluding junctions. They seal cell together in an epithelium in such a way that prevent even small molecules from leaking one side to the other. Tight junction or genula occludens are common type of these junctions. These are the closest stone contact between adjacent cells. They mainly present in epithelia lining and central nervous system forming blood-brain barrier etc. They prevent free passes of molecules including ions across an epithelial sheet in the spaces between cells. They also maintain the polarity of epithelial cells by preventing the diffusion of molecules between the apical and basolateral region of the plasma membrane. Tight junctions are mediated by two transmembrane proteins such as clodins and occludin. Second is anchoring junctions. They mechanically attach cells and their cytoskeleton to their adjacent cells or to the extracellular matrix. It includes mainly three types of junction. First, adherence junction. Second, desmosomes. And third is hemidesmosomes. Hemidesmosomes sometimes counted in desmosome type junctions. First, adherence junction 
connect bundles of actin filament from cell to cell or from cell to extracellular matrix. They are of two types. First, adhesion belt and second is focal contact. Different types of anchoring junctions with their related transmembrane proteins and filaments are listed in the table. First is adhesion belt or janula adherence. It is a cell to cell junction. It is mediated by actin filament and proteins belongs to cadherin family. Adhesion belts are usually located near the apical surface just below the tight junctions. Second is focal contact or adhesion plaque. It is a cell matrix junction which is mediated by transmembrane adhesion proteins of integrin family and by actin filament. Second type is desmosomes. Desmosomes are button like points of intercellular contact which bind neighboring cells together. They mediate the interaction by cadherin family protein and intermediate filaments. Desmosomes contain two specialized cadherin proteins that is desmoglein and desmocolin. Third is hemidesmosomes or half desmosomes resemble desmosomes but they connect the basal surface of epithelial cells to the underlying basal lamina. The transmembrane proteins in hemidesmosomes belong to the integrin family and by intermediate filaments. Third type is communicating junctions. These mediate the passage of chemical or electrical signals from one cell to another. Gap junction is most common example of communicating junctions. Gap junctions serve as direct connections between the cytoplasm of adjacent cells. They form open channels through the plasma membrane allowing ions and small molecules to diffuse freely between cell to cell but preventing the diffusion of proteins and nucleic acids. In electrically excitable cells such as heart muscle cells, the direct passage of ions through gap junctions and synchronizes the contraction of neighboring cells. Gap junctions also allow the passage of some intracellular signaling molecules such as cyclic AMP and calcium ion between adjacent cells. The transmembrane protein in gap junctions are called as connexins. Six connexins assemble to form a cylinder with an open aqueous pore in its center called connexin. When the connexins in plasma membrane of two cells in contact are aligned, they form a continuous aqueous channel called gap junction. Now, the plasmodesmata. In plant cells, cytoplasmic connections are present for communication between neighboring cells called as plasmodesmata. Plasmodesmata are structurally different from gap junctions. So this is all about cell junctions and its various types. If you like my video then subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for more such videos. Thank you.